Big thanks to Master Build for sponsoring this video. The cheapest barbecue meat is something that you gotta build up yourself. So that's why I got a load of minced meat. Minced meat is very, very inexpensive. It's because minced meat is made out of the parts of the cow that are uh, incurrent, uh, um, that nobody wants. The butcher takes it all, puts it into the grinder, and then grinds it up. And then you have really cheap meat. And I'm gonna show you how you can turn that cheap meat into something really, really delicious for very little pesos. So take out a bowl, put in your minced meat, this is 100% ground up Dutch beef and it's very nice and loose in texture. And at the same time, look at the consistency. It is pink where beef is normally red, but the reason that it's pink is because there's fat in this. I'm gonna turn this into a meatloaf and it's called a meatloaf for a good reason because it's like a loaf of bread that you slice into slices of bread, meat, loaf, because that means that you can share it with a lot of people. But to get it as compact as we need it, we're gonna need to add some eggs. And that's two eggs for two kilograms of minced meat. And I'm also gonna add around 100 grams of breadcrumbs. That's gonna give us the consistency of compressed minced meat, real loaves, slices of bread. So that's why bread. And for seasoning, I'm gonna use Pitmaster X's classic barbecue rub. Now you can use any barbecue rub that you like, but make sure to add at least four tablespoons. Start kneading the minced meat until it turns into a soft dough. I want it to be as smooth as possible. So you gotta put in the work. You really have to get in there with your hands and work it until it looks something like this. But I'm not gonna stop there. I'm gonna add more flavor. These are canned jalapenos. Put that into a blender with a little bit of moisture and then blitz it up until you have a coarse structure of ground jalapenos. Add that to the minced meat. Then take the cheapest cheese you can find. It's not cheddar. It's like plastic cheese that melts really well and kids absolutely love. Because if my kids see a package like this, they'll probably think they hit the jackpot. I'm gonna start by adding a little bit. And I'm gonna keep on kneading the minced meat while adding the cheese, making sure that it spreads out evenly. And that's gonna give us a little cheese pocket when it starts cooking. Once you got everything kneaded, it's just a matter of taking out a baking tray, a sheet of baking paper, and then scoop the meat into the tray. It's kind of cheap and dirty, but it's kind of good. And that's exactly what comfort food should be. It should give you that good feeling. But let's be real. Your mom's meatloaf is not gonna beat my meatloaf recipe. That's because your mom thinks about your health and I don't. I just care about your emotions. And my meatloaf is gonna make you feel good. Looks good or what? Just like a pastry. It's now ready to go and be baked. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So let's fire up the cube. I'm gonna set up my master build for smoking. I'm gonna put in the manifold, then I'm gonna load up the hopper with charcoal, put in a couple of fire starters and light them up. But it only starts smoking if you remove the safety plates. Of course I'm gonna use the thermometer to keep my eye on the temperature inside that meatloaf. Time to close the lid and set the barbecue to smoke at a temperature of 120 degrees Celsius. I just got the notification from my thermometer that it's time to take off my meatloaf and Oh, <laughs> look at that. Ooh, everything melted. Everything looks absolutely freaking delicious and it's sitting basically in its own gravy, which means we're gonna have a very, very tasty meatloaf. Let's take this off the grill. It needs around 10 to 20 minutes to cool down a little bit before I start cooking with it any further. The meatloaf cooled down and it's firmed up completely. This is exactly what I'm looking for and now I'm gonna transfer it to a tray. Just set it upside down and aim for the center. Now granted, it might not look very cool at the moment, but that's gonna change. We're gonna make this look like the best meatloaf you've ever seen. And it starts with some mustard and mayonnaise. Just drizzle it on and then with a brush, just spread it out creating an adhesive layer on the outside of the meatloaf. The mustard is gonna bring you flavor and the mayonnaise is going to build up a beautiful crust. Now, of course, we need something to go on top. So I'm gonna to take 250 grams of panko breadcrumbs. <laughs> no way! <laughs> I think that, uh, let me mind. And that's 150 grams of frozen dry cheese. And all that this mixture needs now is a little bit of barbecue rub. I'm gonna put on my Pitmaster X classic barbecue rub, which you can find the recipe in pitmasterx.com. And then 
a couple of tablespoons will do the job. Mix it up without spilling, of course. And this is perfect to build up that crust because it's so super dry. That's why I chose the frozen dry cheese. It's going to crunch up very fast when we put it back in the barbecue. Sprinkle that onto the meatloaf, building up that beautiful crust. Give it a little bit of time to stick to it to soak up that mustard and mayonnaise. There we go, that should do the job. Now this goes back on the grill, cranking up that heat to a temperature of around 200 degrees Celsius, building up that crust. In the meantime, I'm gonna whip up a quick barbecue sauce. Starting with 400 milliliters of ketchup, 100 milliliters of ketchup mayonnaise, 100 grams of dark brown sugar, and a tablespoon of Worcester sauce. Mix that up and bring it to a boil and your barbecue sauce is done. It doesn't get any simpler than that. Kwaioioi. Look at my meatloaf. <laughs> the outside crust is a bit delicate. Look, we're getting the dark crunch on here. This is as far as I wanna go. It looks really good. It's firmed up a little bit. And as promised, we're going to take a look on the inside because that's where the magic happens. That is one good looking meatloaf. And look, we even got a little smoke ring at the bottom where it was exposed. Oh, look at that. If you squeeze this, you see how juicy that is? Full with cheese and all that goodness. And then just dunk it into the barbecue sauce. Mm. Oh my God. You can spend all the money you want but you're not gonna beat this. This is comfort food 101. Cheddar cheese melting in your mouth, the jalapeno spiciness, the sweetness of the barbecue sauce and that crust. Mm, this is so good. Give it a try. The recipe's down below. It's not that hard. Go ahead, make this. Mmm, this is good.